What we are doing and what we've been doing for the last several years is building a community that uh, is all about blockchain and making it simple and easy for people to connect to the blockchain and to be able to take advantage of what the blockchain has to offer. The reality that we all know is that in the past, it's been extremely difficult for people to be able to participate. In the past, you had to be a developer. You had to be a computer engineer in order to participate in blockchain technology in a really big way. But, but now with some innovation, with a lot of what we've been doing over the last five years or more, we've, we've been able to create a system that makes it really simple and easy to uh, participate and receive just a ton of, of digital rewards. I want to go back a little bit today into where we have uh, we have kind of a wallet application that people can use. We have node technology because if you understand the way that uh, most mining systems work is you go out and you buy a miner, that miner has software on it, you plug that into a pool, you're contributing that miner's com computational power and you're getting a reward in return. Well, we took that concept, but we took out the software from the hardware. And we said, this should be available for everyone in the world, regardless of what kind of uh, devices they have. And, and, and so we've been able to break apart or decouple the software from the hardware, creating this node software that allows anyone throughout the world to be able to contribute to green technology, to this, this green blockchain technology and receive a, a digital reward, receive green for that. I'm gonna show you a couple things right now. Um, this right here is our green app. Uh, this is where as you're mining actual green, it will all get deposited right here into your green app. And the neat thing about this green app is you'll see it functions like a lot of other different types of applications. You've got your inventory, uh, you've got kind of current prices in the marketplace, You've got your balances. So you can see I don't have any Bitcoin in this app. I do have some Ethereum right there, just a very little bit. Uh, I've got some green here. If I click on my green, you can see some mining here, uh, a deposit for my mining. Um, but we also have inside this inventory, this little vault section. And this developed to give people more control over everything that they're doing. I'm gonna show you a couple of things right now because we started with green, but green is kind of our baby. We have, uh, we believe that green is going to shift the way that the world looks at energy, the way that they uh, react with energy, um, uh, the way that they share energy, because right now that, that can't really even be done on a global scale. Um, but what we've done here is we've given people the opportunity to actually uh, mine uh, this green from the comfort of their own home. And this right here, what I'm showing you, this is our green node software. Uh, you can see that uh, on this particular kind of, uh, what you can see here is I've mined quite a bit of green so far. Uh, I've got a lot of purchased licenses, green licenses right there. I've got 55 purchased licenses and I've got seven currently that are in the network and running. Um, we're actually putting together uh, some technology right now that will allow individuals to host or run the green technology on a VPS or virtual private server, which means if they don't have separate devices, you know, that they can run these on, which is what I have right now, these seven are running on different devices. I can actually take the remaining 48 nodes that I have or purchase licenses and I can run those on a, a virtual private server. So that's that's technology that's almost there. We're really excited about that. But but the point is, is this is as simple as it gets. It doesn't need to be more complicated. People can actually go in, hit, hit activate right here. So I, I'll just show you, I can deactivate it. And then just as simply, um, I'm gonna go through a couple of things here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna log out real quick. I'm gonna log back in, okay? And as I log back in here, you're gonna see that, uh, again, all I have to do is, is click a button and it will, and it will react. Perfect, here, let me pull it back up. And then I'll show you this process. There we go. So here's, uh, pulled it back up. You can see right now it's not activated. All I do is turn my mining speed to fast, click activate, and it's running again. Just that simple. You saw that my node count went from six back up to seven as well. So this is really easy, simple, uh, simple software. This is the whole purpose. We People shouldn't have to be you know, have a major, you know, or a lot of education in blockchain to be able to participate in blockchain. And so our whole goal was to make it simple and easy. And we started here with Connect. Um, 
one thing happened, which was really, really neat. Uh, as we were developing this, developing all the different platforms, the ecosystem around green, we had a group come to us that was part of the gaming world, uh, Gala. I mean, a lot of you have heard about Gala. Uh, we talked a little bit about this yesterday. Uh, Gala is putting gaming, your free-to-play gaming, on the blockchain. And one of the things about Gala is if you've ever played a game that was free, if you ever played a game like um, Words with Friends or Candy Crush uh, were some big ones. Um, uh, another really big one a while back that was that came out through Facebook was Farmville and Farmville 2. Um, we actually, the team that created Farmville 2 came to us and said, we want to put gaming on the blockchain. We want people to be able to own their gameplay. And what that means is, is as you're in game, as you're doing different things, you can actually uh, own different types of uh, rewards, uh, different types of NFTs or non-fungible tokens. You guys, I think, know, know what those are, of course. And these, these NFTs can be used in game to enhance your gameplay. But not only that, these NFTs can also be uh, searched and used uh, in, uh, uh, excuse me, they can be traded, bought, sold on different platforms uh, for real world value. So the neat thing about this is, again, we are now creating a place where people can come and have fun, game, uh, increase their levels and do different things like that. And at the same time, receive real world value for that gameplay. They can actually own those skins and those weapons or those different parts of the game uh, that they're using in gameplay uh, have, have, have now had a real, real world value here. So, so when Gala came to us, or it wasn't even Gala, when, when that team came to us, they said, can we do this? Can we put this on a blockchain? We said, absolutely. We actually have, we have a infrastructure already set up that we've created for green. Let's, Let's do a little bit of a uh, of some testing because green was our baby. Like I said before, we said let's test some some waters over here. Let's test a few things out with Gala, and see. Let's really push the limits and see what we can do. So, we 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 started the Gala project. Uh, we started creating all these things. Uh, we've created a number of of different uh, stuff with Gala games. Uh, some really fun games. Our first game was Town Star. Uh, which is this game right here, kind of a simulation game. Um, we're coming out with this next game, Spider Tanks, here in the fourth quarter, coming out really, really soon, which is also a very, very exciting game. Uh, we're, we're stoked for it. Mirandus is coming on the, the gaming platform. We've got Fortified, which is a kind of a tower defense game system that's coming on. Uh, Echoes of Empire, a very strategic kind of shooter game, uh, air, airplane shooter. So there's a lot of uh, things that are coming on board. And, and a lot of different partners that we've been working with in the process. So we've been able to really identify and find out um, what works, what doesn't work, uh, what we're doing. Uh, and it's been a really great learning process. And again, Gala was basically built on Green's technology. Uh, we were able to kind of duplicate that and build it on Green's technology. Gala has seen some tremendous success if you haven't looked already, I want to show you a couple things here. If you go to uh, Coin Coin Gecko, and I'll just pull this up right now so you can see it. I'm just going to uh, go to Gala here. So right now, Gala is listed at uh, I think number yeah, it looks like number 135 on Coin Gecko. Give this just a second to load. And if you've never come to CoinGecko before, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm guessing a lot of you already have, but if you've never come here, this is just a great place to kind of see the value of coins, what they're doing in the marketplace. Obviously, you can track your favorites, you know, Bitcoin, the like, uh, this is acting really slow. Hold on just a sec. There we go. So, so this is Gala. And uh, you can see a few different things that CoinGecko will show about the project. And obviously the success that we've had so far with the project is it's got a really great market cap right now. $659 million uh, is kind of the market cap. You see the circulating supply currently of Gala, uh, the 24-hour trading volume. You know, it's got an over $100 million 24-hour trading volume. Uh, diluted supply. I mean, it really, it's just done some tremendous things over the last little while. When it first came out, this... this uh, 
this chart is loading right now. And again, I've got a lot of programs running in the background right now. So that's probably why it's taking some time. But you can see the all time low when we kind of first launched the project, actually. It first launched in, I think it was September of 2020. By about uh, December, well, sorry, let me back up. People actually started working with and, and supporting the Gallup project with, with their nodes uh, about a year. Let's see, I think it was July of 2019. And so for about a year, we had individuals that mined. Then uh, once we started getting on the exchanges, which was about September of 2020, uh, we had some great success. In December, the, the price was, as you can see here, 0 0.0001, you know, and then some change there. Uh, so that was the price of Gala. And today, obviously, that's that's grown considerably. Uh, right now, the price is at at eight point seven cents, and and a little bit, you know, with some some decimals there. But this this project has not only seen some tremendous success, and we've just barely started. It will continue to grow. It will continue to increase. Uh, and, and it is every single day. We're, we're watching this happen. Uh, people and you know different markets are adopting. Gala has now been put on Binance, uh, which is really exciting. Uh, they they launched it on Binance several weeks ago. It's probably been about almost two months now, I think. Um, and so that that obviously has has improved adoption and some different things. So the neat thing about what we've done with Gala is we were able to test the water on a lot of different things, see what worked and what didn't work. And we are now in a position to begin applying everything that we worked with Gala over here into, into the green project. Uh, we feel a lot more confident that now as we really run run faster to market with, with, uh, with green and some of these other projects that we mentioned yesterday, like Switch and Liberty, uh, Blue, you know, and, and Win, um, that really is going to, it's going to uh, take a much faster trajectory. That's, that's my belief. Just because we've, we've been able to learn a lot and now we'll be able to apply what we've learned to all of these other projects. So that's that's what I'm most excited about is we have tested out the ecosystem. The ecosystem works. It, 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 it doesn't just work. It is, it is providing massive value to people all over the globe right now. And, and so people, for example, have come in and they have uh, they've participated in Gala. They've mined Gala. You can see that I've got some of my mined Gala right here. Uh, Gala has a, a similar, I was showing you with the green, oops, I was showing you with the green project a second ago, the um, the vault. So when you're when you're mining, when you're running your, your block bot software or your node software, that's going to deposit initially here into the vault. You then at any time that you want to can transfer that from the vault into your application, like right here. And from here, you can send and receive it. It's, this is your privately held, you hold the private keys application. That's that's all you. Uh, and so, and that's all up to you. It's all in your control. Just like Gala, right here, Gala has a this treasure chest system. So as, as you're, participation, you're participating every day in the distribution process, uh, you earn, you know, those, those distributions go first into your treasure chest. I can then convert those from my treasure chest into, uh, into my, um, my app. And then from there, obviously, I have full control because that's a privately held uh, wallet application uh, right here in my, in my app there. So um, these right here, as you can see below, uh, Gala has been one of the largest uh, creators and providers of uh, NFTs in the world. Actually, they've sold, I think, one of the most expensive NFTs. The most expensive one was, I think, recently, well, it's, it's been a, a few months, but recently purchased for about $3 million, which was pretty pretty amazing. Um, but each of these different projects are going to follow very similar patterns that we did with, with Gala, where there will be different NFTs available as part of the distribution. Uh, they'll start with the coins and NFTs will follow. And so all these different things are part of what we're building inside of this ecosystem. And it uh, it's, it is, like I said, right now, Gala is changing the way that people play video games. And that's not for everybody. And I know that. But one thing that I know is for everybody and that everyone participates in is power. Everyone either uses power at some level. Uh, you know, there's everyone has power consumption, whether it's for your cell phone or, or your home or your automobiles, whatever that may be. 
that's all part of the process. And so, so we're taking these exact same concepts that we started with green proved out now with gala and we're bringing that all back in uh, to the green network now, but what I wanted to show you right now is kind of the, the other side of this is with, with connect really, again, uh, the whole the whole purpose of Connect is to give easy access to these different projects. Um, we've got green here. We've got all these different projects that we love. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to kind of go through just briefly again, some of the overview. And, um, and I know that there, for each person that's on the call, there will be a, a little bit of a different draw. Um, one thing, like I said, that I, I believe is, is uh, something that applies to just about everybody is green. Um, everyone around the world globally right now, they're trying to figure out ways to conserve energy or uh, to be able to provide power to those that don't have it. And I think that green has some massive solutions for that. Um, switch, being able to, to switch your digital rewards that you're receiving uh, as you're going through and, and participating in that blockchain technology, as you're supporting those with the node technology, uh, being able to switch those rewards into fiat to be usable is amazing, an amazing opportunity. Our switch reward card will help make that even easier. Uh, it's going to be able to bank the unbankable. Blue, uh, I know that there are there are places throughout the world that have free healthcare uh, or very low cost healthcare, and and that's that's just a very small part of blue. One of the things I love about blue is this is all about healthy living and being rewarded for healthy living. Uh, you know, if you're out. If you're out running or exercising or tracking your steps, you know, with your with your digital wearable devices or, uh, you know, making healthy food choices, different things like that. It's it's really building this health. We call it health plus care. And so you can earn greater rewards as you're making those healthy decisions. Anyway, really, as you're doing the things you would normally do, you know, as you're utilizing your your power in your home as you're 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 going about making purchases throughout the day you know as as you're making healthy choices uh, as you're trying to secure your family and 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 do different things that 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 cause greater security in your mind and in your home all of these things that we are all, all doing anyway um, now now we have even a greater purpose behind that where you can also be rewarded for those actions on a daily basis. So, so this is this is kind of the foundation. I wanted to give you all today a little bit more insight into the background of where we were and where we started and where we are today. We've had some tremendous, tremendous success. Um, we have we have zero investors with what we're doing right now because our projects are just kind of up and running and 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 they are uh, they're amazing and. and um, and, and they're working and providing value, which is all obviously what I love about what we're doing here. So with that, uh, let me go ahead and turn it back to you, Stefan. Is that correct that this is something that everyone can do? That's really what this is all about. It, it's, it's for everyone. Anybody can do it. It's really easy. And to answer your question, yeah, these projects have been in development for the last five years. Uh, maybe even a little bit that. longer than that. <laughs> and, you know, there are there are a lot of fly-by-night organizations that will have a, a decent little rise and then they'll fall out and they'll be gone. And we've all seen those. Some of us have probably even experienced some of those, you know, and that's that's not what this is. Uh, we are we are here for the long haul. We are building a legacy. And and uh, and these this is just the beginning. I want to help you understand. We have probably 10 other projects that are in the works right now that will be released over time. Uh, that uh, we're not we're not even talking about right now. Um, you know, for example, uh, gold-backed currency. You know that that literally allows us to keep the gold in the ground, uh, but but digitize it and it's real. Uh, you know, and, yeah, yeah. Um, I heard anyways. about it. It's uh, crazy, crazy. Yeah. And like we spoke yesterday, Steve, and uh, highly appreciated again your time there. I mean. Because people, people, more and more people are starting to realize that, uh, you know, it's coming the next step of internet, decentralized, like you have been yes. doing. You're putting it the ha in the hands of the people, a supercomputer spanning over millions of nodes worldwide. Now, isn't it like that, that what you are doing uh, really to make it simple and in a few words, it's blockchain with a purpose? Absolutely. That is, that is what sums it up, you know, for us. We uh, we believe we believe in people. I mean, here's the reality: you're all here because you have 
you have massive influence and networks and people that love and trust you. And they do that for a reason because you have loved and trusted them. You know, I mean, that's, that is the truth. And when, when we can now couple that with the greatest products in the world, uh, the, the most cutting edge technology right now, this is what we're doing. And, and this is why we're coming together right now is because we see this as not only one of the greatest technologies, uh, but also as greater opportunity for growth, greater opportunity for the individual, not, not the really, not just the really big guy that has a lot of resources and money and time, but for the individual that, you know, just has a little tiny bit extra that they want to, they want to do something with, you know, they want to, they want to support some blockchain. They want to, they want to get involved. This is what this is all about. Yeah, I, I, I love the, the whole concept with being able, even security-wise, to have it over millions of nodes instead of having it in one supercomputer somewhere that can run out of power. Oh, is, absolutely. Is speaking about green. Also security with cyber attacks and so on. It's much harder to break down the decentralized uh, network. And I mean, that's where most people are so uh, excited about the decentralization because it gives back the power to the people. That's my opinion, at least. Because if you're looking at, at governments in general, they allow you to go and play in a casino, but they don't allow you to invest directly. <laughs> you need an investment yeah. banker in between. Isn't that quite funny? And once you're going in back into blockchain technology and decentralization, obviously, here, I want to point out, that's also obviously why we are very strict that we need to have real people behind KYC yes. being able to show that we are, you know, following the laws and regulations in the different uh, jurisdictions. Could you say, say something about that? Because for me, as a networker of 21 years, I am extremely excited about that this being a US-based company with, uh, you know, regulated under these laws. For me, that is something that makes me feel much more safe than if it's coming out of, you know, you know, Banana Republic, this or that. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. It, and that is, you know, that's a that's a really big point for a lot of people. Uh, and and the reason is it kind of touches on what we talked about a little bit earlier. There have been a lot of people that have participated in groups and organizations that aren't highly regulated or weren't. And because of that, you know, it, it caused a lot of bad blood. A lot of people had some bad experiences. Um, we are. We're based here in the U.S. Uh, we are structuring we are structuring things the right way. We actually, uh, you know, have regular conversations and have friends and individuals that we know that are part of uh, some of the different uh, governmental organizations and agencies that are starting to right now really look deeply into blockchain technology, and 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 that's okay. That's a lot. Some people see that as a bad thing, and I see that as actually a really great thing because. What that does is when, when the regulation begins to come and when we start to figure out what those rules are going to be, it's going to open up the door to a whole lot more people. Now, we all know and love blockchain because what it creates, it, it creates sovereignty, right? Blockchain creates this idea of I can be my own person and it doesn't matter what the governments are doing and what decisions they do or don't make. I can have some, I can have control over me and my family with what we're doing here in the blockchain. Um, and that's that that piece is still there. It will always be there. But what the regulation yeah. will bring, will it, it, it will bring confidence with the mass market, right? Everyone that's on the call right now, you guys are all first movers. Like you, you, you know, you guys, you, you guys have seen the markets, you've been in the markets, you know and love the blockchain, and you're here because you 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 recognize the opportunity. But the, the rest of the 99% of the world they're going to come on a lot easier as regulations begin to get passed. So we are working very closely uh, with our group of lawyers, uh, with um, you know the different government bodies, and making sure that what we're doing is not only not only above board but way above board. That we are um, we're saying the right things. We're compliant in our language. You know, so that's all extremely important to us. For for, uh, for me also, and I think. Uh... I, I might say that probably 99.999% of the people on this call, because as in blockchain technology, you know, networking has been uh, going many ways the last years because of all the opportunities that opens up with digital products and so on. But at the same yes. time, in the beginning, always, we have always criminality coming in from the beginning. 
But the yeah. funny thing, I read an article very recently that actually now in Bitcoin, as of today, there is expected and, you know, and evaluated that it is less than 0. some five percentages left of it. You know, the rest is legitimate. It spins for real products and services, and it has become more and more something that goes really mainstream. And I mean, I don't need to tell that to you, but maybe somebody on the call is not aware of that. It is. It's becoming way more mainstream. And I mean, you just look it up, do a Google search. Uh, yeah. You know, you'll find you'll find video after video on YouTube right now. It's all over Twitter and social media. Um, you know, the reality is here, you know, you've got, you know, Fortune magazine is a big magazine, you know, and, and they talk about companies globally, of course, and they've got their top lists. You've got your Fortune 100 and your Fortune 500 companies. And if you look at those different companies, a lot of them are in the technology space. Uh, and, and a lot of those are, are spending millions, if not billions of dollars right now to incorporate blockchain tech into what they're doing yeah. because they see and they know that this is the future. It is legitimate. And it's what I just follow the money. If you follow the money, if you look at, I mean, really, right? If you look at where the money are, is flowing in terms of big business and and uh, global economies, it used to be really exciting when different companies would announce, we're now accepting Bitcoin. Um, and that's still exciting. But what's even more exciting is now we're seeing countries, whole countries come on and saying, we're not just accepting Bitcoin. We are making Bitcoin our legal tender. We are making Bitcoin our, our, form, of, our form of money. We've seen that with... El Salvador, and there are other countries that I believe we're going to see over the coming months, we're going to see more and more and more come on and do that same exact thing. Well, what does that mean? That means that there is a massive need for, for innovation and development inside, not just, I mean, Bitcoin is Bitcoin, right? That's And that's one aspect and it's awesome. We, we love it. But there's so much more to blockchain than just Bitcoin. And there's so much even, I believe, more value in blockchain than just Bitcoin. And that says a lot because we all, you all know right now, I mean, if I were to go back here with, with what I'm sharing, go to CoinMarketCap, or excuse me, CoinGecko, if you look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a trillion, over a trillion dollar market cap. Look at this. This is Bitcoin's market cap. So that's big. I believe that some of these new technologies coming up, I believe that green, uh, blue, switch, has a greater just opportunity. Just keep on adding and have greater impact. You are totally I, I, absolutely. I think the market cap for those could even be higher than this at some point. You know, I mean, that's that's my belief. So we'll see. Yeah, but maybe, yeah but I, I, I follow your belief. But something interesting that you mentioned here is that the Bitcoin market cap, because it's not long ago when it was 250. That's right. And people people tend to, to look to... Uh, Somebody said it really well in a, in a lecture that I was uh, listening into. They said that if you follow, you know, the longer term, you follow two years, as an example, in the curve, and you start looking at it, you can't go wrong. Yeah. And what, uh, what is the rollout time frame for these? And how do you see the cooperation and the next steps going? Thank you. I appreciate that. So we are, we are uh, working as fast and as furiously as we possibly can. Obviously, with the core of our team right now here in the United States and, and many of the cores of what you're doing in other places around the world, you know, uh, our, our goal is to, is to really start rolling this out almost immediately. We have, we've actually already started to do some integrations. Uh, and so there's, there, there are things that are in process um, green is up and running and, and ready to go. And we are working out that plan right now. I, 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 I don't know if I can tell you specifically, but I can tell you that uh, green is the one that is currently up and running. The rest of these like Switch, Blue, Liberty, uh, Win, Give, like all, all of those other ones, um, we, are, uh, we are probably you know, 90 to 180 days out uh, it, uh, for, for launching those. We're already actually pre-selling uh, the, the software, the BlockBot or Node software uh, for those, uh, which is actually really exciting because we did this exact same thing with Gala. We, we pre-sold before people could actually even, before it was being mined on the blockchain, we had some off-chain distributions and some different things that we were doing. Um, but those people that got in early, uh, I mean, they've all made some really great, great money. They made some great rewards. That's just the reality, right? And so, our goal is to follow a very similar pattern, and we're not. Yeah, why we're break not the stopping. wheel when it's, re when it's invented and it's working? Why, why disrupt? I mean, 
continue the same. Yes, exactly. We, we've, we've, we've created a pattern that works and, and our goal is to continue to stamp out that pattern. And, and, you know, for us, the reason why we're, we're in these massive conversations here with Algotech is we, we see what you are doing and we, and, you know, it's kind of a two way, two way street here. You guys saw what we were doing and said, Hey, we want to participate in that. We see what you're doing. We're saying, yes, that what a great model to, to move things forward in a really major way, because we all know blockchain is about adoption and, and you've got some of the greatest people in the world here that know how to drive adoption. And, uh, and so, yeah, I think this is, this is Steven, kind of- Steven, it's an important thing for the simple reason that you know how fast Algotech also been up and running and we, we got introduced or you guys knew each other and things has been going much faster than people expected. So in the beginning, yes. what people were told, you know, only in the three, four weeks period, it has changed. And I understand yes. that it confuses the people. But also, yeah. uh, I guess from your side and from our side, it needs to be a clean slate when we're working together, correct? Because yes. for, for you guys, it's very important. You're coming out of a very strictly regulated market. Yep. US is a very strictly regulated market, which I see, as I said, as a positive. So it is. the reason it's, it's... for me asking is, I mean, if green is already, it's working and so on. And I know for a fact then that we are very soon starting with the founders of of Algo yes. and, and Algo Tribe. Um, there, so there are there are some things that we're putting into place right now that we're going to start implementing here very very quickly uh, as soon as next week. I hope to start to start some of that process. Um, so yeah, I mean we we are we're running we're running. We see this as an opportunity. This is not a this is not a slow down. This is let's keep on running as fast as possible <laughs> because at the end of the day. Yeah, Fast and Furious, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so I want to just thank you, Stephen, again for your exquisite time you know, with us here on behalf of the Algo tribe and all the leaders around the world. Absolutely. Thank you, Stefan. I appreciate you. Brilliant. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Over and out from Bangkok, Thailand.